just before I take the rear suspension completely apart, it's probably worth having a look at the drive shafts on the back of this car because they're quite interesting. They are uprated vegan tune items, which differ from the normal um, Elan. So on the normal Elan, we have these rubber donuts and on the stock suspension, uh, sorry, stock drivetrain, that has rubber donuts inboard and outboard on the car. And on the uprated vegan tune shafts, what you have is a CV type arrangement on the outside with a sliding section in the middle that allows the length of the, the drive shaft to lengthen and shorten to compensate for suspension movement. And then on the inside, you have, I've already partially disassembled this yesterday, so you, you don't get the pleasure of me swearing for an hour on end. This is the drive flange coming out of the diff. That goes into a metal plate that actually goes into the, the donut, and then the drive shaft bolts up diagonally opposed, if you like. So you'll have a sandwich still with the rubber donut in the, the middle and the drive shaft going into the end. So if I pull the donut out. So with the donut removed, you can see the end of the drive shaft. So this is the opposing drive flange, if you like, and that would bolt up through the donut to the drive flange coming out the diff. And if I give that a pull, you can see there's a extending section on the drive shaft. That's what gives it its ability to compensate for length. So the nose of the drive shaft sits inside this cast piece here, and this would sit inside of the donut and be bolted straight through the holes up onto the drive flange. So I think the reason for this, uh, the system with rubber donuts on each end of the drive shaft, there is some give in the rubber and the drive shaft can sort of wind up with the modulus, uh, the elasticity of the, the rubber. And that isn't great for handling um, characteristics, but additionally the donuts, they are rubber and they will perish in harsh environments and underneath a car and the salt and the cold, etc., is quite a harsh environment. The flip side is if you ran CV joints um, inside and outside, you need to do length compensation on the drive shaft, but also CV joints give a far harsher ride, compli uh, ride in the car because there's no give anymore in the system. So with the vegan tune axles, you've got one CV and one donut, and it creates a halfway house, with nicer to drive, but performance advantages um, over the, the two rubbers and not quite as harsh as two CV joints.